Hello and welcome to Rising Stars. I'm Vikram Oza. Census report is saying that two out of every five uh, Indians are actually migrants. So that's not a very recent report, but still, is there a case for pandering to those away from home, hungering for regional delicacies? And by that we mean food, but it goes beyond that when you talk about this Ahmedabad-based startup, which is called SaleBhai.com, which calls itself a 100% marketplace model. And this uh, ever since it launched in September 2015. So it's not been too long. They uh, started with a website and they have an Android application and they're on their way to get an iOS app as well. Vishwa Vijay Singh is the co-founder of SaleBhai.com and he's joining us in the studio on Rising Stars today. Great to have you with us. Uh, Vishwa. Do tell us, I mean, I can see the need for it. You move away from home and you're craving for all things that mm. home is known for. And there are so many migrants within. So there is a diaspora within India that you're catering to. So there is a business case for it, but already there is a lot of competition over there. Yes. You call yourself a 100% marketplace. Uh, so by way of what you bring to the table to perhaps vendors, and some of them may be very small, a small pedawala somewhere sitting, never been on a digital platform hmm. uh, so there is that uniqueness and you're extending that market for them hmm. but beyond that what is the USP of uh, your startup see uh, we are the first to define this market mm -hmm. like nobody you can find uh, people who are offering some kind of products in bits and pieces so somebody offering some delicacies from say a particular Pune or Bombay or some areas now we as a company are the first to define this market as a as a market where a migrant we are trying to provide anything and everything mm -hmm. that a migrant misses from his hometown right. a diaspora so in a sense and this can be anything like right from your food to rituals to your decor to your art and to your seasonal but items. a majority of what you do is your food isn't it yes 60 percent 60 percent is food. food because food is one thing where people relate easily to sure. but again there are other items also which people miss like rituals again is a very big category where we it's do growing. quite well right yes decor again the regional decor, handicraft items, all those which we make available are again being missed by these people uh, quite long. Right. So we are the first to do this, right. uh, to define this market in a way. When you say that first, is there hmm. a first mover advantage that we are talking about here? Yes. What is that? See, uh, the first mover in a sense, uh, when we appeal to the people, mm -hmm. so uh, in a sense we always have a story where we touch them somewhere with their, the moment we tell them sure. that okay, I am going to make uh, things available which you had seen in your say childhood or in your college days or the particularly and I, I, I will uh, I will share you one example where mm -hmm. we have a portion we have a section on our website where we ask people that what are the things that you want to make right available right you will be surprised we get around 10 to 12 query queries every day so you have your people, people going out there yes. and uh, sourcing vendors who will get you those special items yes but then there is a certain amount of discovery that is also happening so when you talk about your entire consumer base right now hmm. uh, what is the profile are they all relegated to the big cities of India like a Hyderabad the Bangalore a Mumbai a Pune is that where the business is uh, really uh, just trying to understand what yes. uh, it is, how your business is kind of running and by way of infrastructure, what do you have got going for you? See, uh, from market perspective, our sourcing is primarily from uh, across India, around, uh, we source from over 100 cities. Mm -hmm. But uh, from consumption point of view, if you ask if, uh, as a market, uh, we are focused on these seven, eight uh, top cities right. to begin with. Right. Because right now we are focusing more on migration from within states, right. uh, outside states, right. Got it. Uh, rather than within states. Sure. So you have most most of the people coming from Bihar, UP, or to say, uh, or from south to Bangalore, to right. Bombay, to Delhi, right. and to Pune. So we are focusing primarily on these seven eight right. cities from consumption point so of tell view. Me, by way of the popular items that are being asked for on yes. your uh, website, which ones would they be, so that we can get an idea of what it is? See again, if for. you ask me, Bengalis, uh, they uh, again, uh, if you ask for Bengali items. Uh, posto again you very yes. very surprising posto is again one masala which is very popular which we are saying good numbers yes uh, again your rasgullas 
from uh, KC Das and again Sondes from uh, Ganguram. Yes. So these are two, three items which Bengal is. So these Gujarat are prepared are food items, right? Yes. A majority yes. of it is prepared food items, yes. not uh, the raw material that would go into cooking as well. Or would uh, you do uh, that too? Yes, we do that, but primarily into masalas and all that. Sure. So we have got all your regional masalas like Bengali masalas, right. Gujarati masalas, South masalas yes. from South and all that. Yes. So they, they that are also in good demand. So then what kind of margins do you work with? Because you obviously have a deal going with vendors and you're bringing them onto a digital platform. Some of them may not have been, but mm -hmm. I'm just wondering why would they not create something like this on their own to be able to connect with their consumers if they are so famous, then people are just going to uh, do a search mm -hmm. for uh, say a Casey Das who's going to provide the Rosh Gullah yes. that you spoke about. See, uh, actually when we contacted them and we, we told them that if you want to create an infrastructure, it's a, if you want to, if you are based out of say Calcutta and you want to reach people in say Chennai or say in Delhi, you would require a lot of infrastructure cost like distribution cost, employee cost and even if you want to build a platform like us, like you would have a lot of uh, cost mm -hmm. in terms of uh, website, in terms of logistic support, yeah. in terms of customer support. So this business will will uh, will may will not be possible until unless they do huge volumes. Sure. Now to generate those kind of volumes, they would have to put in a lot of money. Mm -hmm. For so, if a Ganguram is there and he wants to only sell say uh, Sundays for his uh, uh, shop, yes, it is actually economically not viable for him to put so much of cost, right. so much of investment, and then uh, get to those volumes. But a marketplace like us, where we are focusing on almost all the items. Yeah. So he invariably our costs are distributed so and he what gets are your margins benefit. like? How do you work and what see, are the revenues looking like right now? See, generally we, uh, again it depends on the category on which we you are uh, sure. targeting. So uh, it starts from say sweets, we have uh, a lower margin at 20% mm -hmm. to it goes to as high as around 45% in uh, handicrafts and all that. So right. average, our margin is around 27%. And turnover has been good? Yes. You've been around see, for just two years. Uh, two years, uh, last year we did around 1.8 crores okay uh, and we generated a revenue of around 43 lakhs but profitability is still a distant dream uh, po profitability on a balance sheet point of view yes but on a per economic uh, scale we yeah. are still profitable so we don't lose money on per units mm -hmm. so if i'm selling you a rasgulla so generally it is priced yeah. at uh, uh, the, the the prices are the same as it are displayed on the shop yeah and uh, we add the yeah. logistic Cost. Typically, and and, yeah. and the margins are borne by the well, whatever the margin is is being given. So on on a per economic basis, yes. we are making profit. Right. But again, to reach that scale, yes. because we are adding around five thousand customers every month. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment we have around two to two and half lakh customers with this kind of volumes, we will break even. You think? Yes, yes, yes. yes. But uh, tell me how funding looks very quickly if you can, because I know that you've uh, raised. Uh, Capital from consumers as well. Yes, from yes. your own customers. Yes, yes. So this was actually we were we got a call from one customer. So she was uh, from Hyderabad, and she said that uh, I liked your model, and uh, I'm married, and I'm working in Hyderabad, uh, and I liked your model very well. So I want to put money. Do you have something where I can do this? So at the at the first instance we thought okay there is no point in taking money from uh, how much money this she will put in two lakhs right. five lakhs and all that, but then we give it a thought uh, within our group we we discussed and then we thought that uh, this kind uh, this can be a starting point. How much have you raised like that? We raised around eighty lakhs to one crore. I see. And yes. that has helped? Yes, so, yes. Uh, at this time, so are you giving away stake because of this? Yes, yes. Right. We, we, we give them stake based on the valuation that we have right. arrived so upon. How much stake so do you still hold? As a, yes. a, as a promoter, we hold around 92% 92% yes. right now. So, and you'll be looking for more funding going ahead? Yes. Yes? How much yes. are you looking at? So and this, how time much time? We are, this time we are looking at 20 CR, right. 20 crores, and we are not in a hurry to raise too much money sure. at one go. Right. So, the idea is to raise only that much money which is required. Right not to say get funded for five years or six years all right still at a very nascent stage but yeah. uh, obviously people are always looking for quality obviously but the things that they are used to having mm -hmm. and especially so growing so discovery part of the mm -hmm. um uh, the consumer that is growing as well so that market needs to be served too so we wish you great luck thanks Thank so you. much for joining us on rising stars and we'll be tracking your business how it progresses from here
Sure, sure. With Thank that, you. it's going to be a quick wrap on this edition of Rising Stars. Plenty more coming up in the future. But for the moment, from me, Vikramoza and the team, bye-bye.